Okay, day two, getting an earlier start today. Sometimes it's good to sleep on these things rather than keep pushing. I mean, it's not a huge rush. Anyway, I was uh, having a look at the, uh, at the pins where the, uh, where the loader arms pivot uh, with my inspection tool. And I noticed, well, this one's tight on the top. Whereas this one is tight on the bottom. So this arm is resting on the bottom and that one's being lifted up probably because the tractor isn't sitting on uh, perfectly flat ground. So if I get my tool in here, oh, look at that. Oh, it's totally loose. So I'm thinking if I remove this one, let this arm sit down here, That'll give me enough space to get that one out. And then they can both just be sitting on the frame here. Then I can use the farm jack to lift it up enough to support it on the sawhorses. Not really sawhorses, whatever. Uh, it should be secure. On the front, it's sitting on the bucket. On the back, it's sitting on the blade, so nothing should move. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. The fact that these, the bottom of this arm here slopes, makes it kind of slippery for support, but I don't see anywhere to lift it. I guess I could lift it underneath this cross brace piece here. Maybe. Uh, it's not enough room to get the jack in there, I don't think. Well, wouldn't be able to use the handle anyway, so. Up here it is. Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. What's that sitting on? Huh. Unknown. Let's have a look at this. Huh. So I thought this was a grease point. But I don't see anywhere the grease to come out. Huh, well, hmm, interesting. Well, I'll have to give that a clean and maybe it's really, really small. That's definitely threaded inside there. So anyway, It's even windier today, so apologies for the wind noise. Ah, it's still sitting on the top. That's interesting. Oh yeah, definitely leaning to this side. What is this sitting on? Ah, there we go. This is the filler. It's not pressing on that. I guess I could have taken it out. Yeah, there we go. That's sitting on the bottom. So, beautiful. Ah. Need some persuasion. Happy tap. Good. Ah. 
Okay, the loader arm is disconnected. manual even says that this is a grease point so there should be a nipple in here where does the oh is that it is it all blocked up let's have a look if I have anything pointy mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's super dried up grease right in there. Cool. Where is it? Oh, that's pretty well hidden. Is that it? Nope. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Aha! Great. Okay. So if it in the down position, you can just lift it close to where you need it and then click to raise. And loosen it up first. There we go. Carefully. Bottom of this is kicking out already. I don't have to go, well, <laughs> don't have much higher that I can go, so. Uh, don't like that. hand up here. Do I have one more? Yep. Have one more? Yep. Uh, uh, that's a good angle. Oh, it's got ways to go. You know what? I think I'm going to readjust this before I continue. It's going to be adventure getting this back on. I really highly recommend watching some instructional videos on how to use these things because you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. Yep. Let's put this 
on the outside and angle it that way. There we go. Everything secure. stable you gotta watch the foot pad uh, you don't want it slipping out <laughs> yeah. oh, here come the mosquitoes yeah oh, I'm not seeing a ton of wear anyway take the top off so I can get it a little bit higher. Oh, long finger tight. <laughs> Run this all the way to the top for maximum danger. Pretty stable. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, slippery. Hmm. Okay, dokey. That's why you don't put your hands underneath. Son of a biscuit. <sighs> There's a little bump there that might help it not slide, but there's really not a lot of places to do this. This might be a better idea, actually. Yeah, uh, let's try that. I really don't want that to happen again. Never a dull moment with firm jacks. Jacks up, it's gonna lean to the left. Uh, it's pretty wobbly.
park and drive out. That needs something underneath it. That leg. Probably should have done this first. car project that's for another another time there we go My original plan was to build a log gantry crane and then hoist it up, which probably would have been a better idea, but really want to get this track running so I can work on other projects. Okay. Is there enough room? to clear the hood uh, uh, okay I got some blocks for underneath that pole there made a notch with an axe and uh, made the back flat. So it sits on there and the pole sits in the saddle. Which one is taller? Where's that little weld bump? There we go. Well, let's snug it up. Say there. Ooh, that's tight. There we go. Oh, it's actually lifting it. Again, because it's smooth on the bottom, hopefully this one will slip out. Um, yeah. Might strap this down or something, I don't know. That seems pretty secure. Space. Oh. Oop. <laughs> it's gonna fall over anyway. <sighs> you know 
what? Let's not leave things in the dirt. That's better. Okay. Ooh, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a bit of force on there. Uh, well. This is a fairly... Put some more logs under here. Okay. It's all free. Wonderful. Sweet. Yeah, let's back the tractor out. Then we can start on these frames. Uh, now I can't get to the battery. <laughs> oh, maybe I can just barely do it. I gotta keep the battery disconnected because there's a power leak. Uh, what do you call it? Battery drain because the field is always hot on the alternator. Need the key. Be right back. Okay. A little bit of starting fluid before anybody criticizes. Uh, it actually says under the hood to uh, use a bit of starting fluid if it's uh, if it's been sitting for a long time or if it's really cold so there's no point in cranking it forever and ever uh -huh. Uh, that was pretty tight. If I'd caught the pole on this, that would have been uh, pretty bad. So, I guess I should lift that up higher. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge around in my scrap wood and see if I can find some some poles to support that. So I'll bring you back when we're starting on that. Okay, went back into the woods and cut up a log. And notched it, so that's resting on that now. Way more stable. It's actually, most of the weight's on the on the log there. <clears throat> Definitely cut a better cross piece here at some point. Maybe try to find some, uh, it's mostly spruce around here, but try to find some fur that's stronger uh, for the extra height as well as uh, the extra strength. But that's good enough for now. So can work on this again. So let's get this uh, return line from the pump off because it's in the way.
turning. As you can see, this tractor leaks uh, a lot. So, <clears throat> that will need to be addressed. Maybe I'll just leave it there. No, never mind. I can get it out. Maybe. brakes on anyway even though they don't really do anything <clears throat> together <clears throat> oh my god look at the play in that that's totally worn out side that's not in the way okay so the manual says the assembly manual says that the bumper went on first and then the loader frame so the loader frame has to come off first the only thing that is attaching it to the tractor are these two bolts and those two bolts on the axle so doesn't have all the weight on those back bolts there. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Well, let's have a look in here first. <coughs> Can we get to any of this stuff? No. So the front PTO drive attaches to the front of the engine front pulley. Oh, I need access to that somehow. That's going to be interesting. It kind of looks like we need to take out the die radiator frame, maybe. Oh boy. Maybe the bumper can stay on? I don't know. And the bumper. Four huge bolts at the bottom. Oh boy. Hmm. 
-hmm. Well, I've got a trolley jack and a bottle jack for sure. So between those two, I think we can get this supported, get it dropped. And, hmm, oh, right, these are, right, each of these arms is separate, all right? Yes, so that's good. That's good. It'll be half as, half as heavy and a heck of a lot easier to maneuver it out. Yeah, okay, I'll go get my jacks and bring you back. I made an executive decision to move over here to the gravel pad where it's uh, a lot less buggy and better access to power and it's a lot more flat and nicer to get on the ground underneath because I'm going to have to undo those bolts under there. Figured we were having so much fun with the farm jack, let's, uh, let's try using that on the side, the uh, loader frame that doesn't have all the expensive bits on it like the uh, valve block. Um, we'll figure out where the power, where the pivot point is on this. Um, and undo the bolts at the back. Well, I'm going to loosen the ones at the front first, maybe take one out. Loosen the ones at the back. Kind of get a feel for how heavy it is. I think if it's, yeah, find the pivot point. So it kind of support it. I've just kind of taken the weight off it here. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. So, I don't have an impact big enough for these, but they're not that tight. Sweet. Let's see, does that matter which one? Ooh, there's three holes. I should remember that. Oh, only two on this side. That's interesting. Let's just mark that. These two. Yeah, I mean, if this pivot's down, it's just gonna be resting here. It just shouldn't hurt anything. smidge. Good. Good, good. Yeah, let's do the back. Only the bolts at the back have uh, 15, 16 heads. Okay. Which is good because that's the biggest size I have. and forward, okay. Let's see. Ooh, that's loud. But I'm gonna get some ear protection. Ear protection and knee protection. Huh. 
Gonna need a wrench for the top. Get another parts tray. Doggy dish, close enough. Front side, back side. Okay. Oh, there's still a washer stuck up there. Let's pry that out. Or not. Oh, that's really in there. Yeah, okay. I can just stay there for now. Let's see if we can tap those bolts out. That one's loose. Oh, here comes the washer. Huh, that's uh, I don't think that was cupped when it was installed. Okay, front back to the front. Oh, yeah, that's loose. Uh, huh, let's see how heavy this is. Well. Can't really test it that well. Got some pivot space there. Let's drop it down one click and see what happens. <laughs> oh, okay. It's totally loose now. Fortune favors the brave. Yeah. Did I say there were less mosquitoes over here? Oh, jeez. 
Maybe there was just less because it was the morning. <laughs> Ooh, I think this thing's pretty heavy. position. Not really. Now it is. Let's see, I'm at thirty two. Okay. <laughs> there we go. tips over is going to destroy anything. Uh, there's the steering. Okay. Okay, this is free now. Ay, 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 ay. Tip the back onto the ground. Yep. And Jack wants to slip out. Let's see how heavy this is. Oh, it's pretty goddamn heavy. Maybe a little bit like right centered in that part. <clears throat> okay, where do I want to put this? Off to the side somewhere. Do. 
Oh, so much access. Oh my God. Ah, oh, this makes it a little easier. So it's got a new fuel distributor. That's good. Uh, lots of leaks. Anyway, yeah. It'd be really useful to have the loader working, but um, this is gonna be much better for fixing it. Fixing it up, let's see. Uh, huh. How does this front bumper go on? Am I gonna have to take all the bodywork off? Oh, looks like there's a bolt down in there. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. <laughs> if I don't actually have to take these loader arms off, I'll be kind of cheesed. And a bolt down there. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. That's up here. There's a bolt head there and a bolt head there. Well, how the heck are you supposed to get to those? From the top? Side. I could look at the manual, I guess. Might be an idea. See here, it says starting instructions. Da 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 da. Cold weather. If required, inject starting fluid sparingly. So. How do you get to that? Take off the radiator hose? How, how, how? I think there's something called a Morflex coupler on the front of this pulley. <laughs> Assembly instructions are not clear on this part. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna have a think and uh, then I'll bring it back. Okay, so update. I noticed on the front here, there was a circlip. There's a circlip at the front. So I removed that, which immediately broke into three pieces. So that was fun, getting that out. And behind that was a thin washer and a thick washer. Uh -huh. So behind that, I don't think that's a bearing. I think that's pressed in and there was some grease in there. There's a grease nipple on the other side. Uh, there wasn't a lot of grease and it looked pretty, pretty fresh. So it was probably the grease that I put in. Um, so I think those washers are just to keep the grease in there. Uh, yeah, so that doesn't give any access, but I had another look at the parts manual here, or the uh, loader assembly manual. This part here looks different, so I'm not sure that this is actually the kit for this tractor, the 135. I think it's for another one. But anyway, this part looks the same. 
This is the part I need to get out, the shaft, hopefully you can see that. And it looks like it threads into the part that bolts to the front pulley. So I'm wondering if I can spin that out somehow. So I've got this piece of scrap bar stock and I'm wondering if I shave it down a little bit and put it in that keyway there, maybe I can crack it loose. That's a little bit too big, so I'm going to get the grinder and just uh, take a little bit off the end there and then get a wrench on it and see if I can get this thing loose. I'm not sure if this is reverse threaded or not. Uh, I guess I could start up the tractor and see which way it spins. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I can get it out from the front. Okay, after a few hours of struggling, <clears throat> made a couple of tools. Uh, <laughs> maybe mild steel wasn't the best idea. Uh, tried, I got one for going this way and one for going this way. And uh, I tried putting the impact gun on it, didn't help. Uh, yeah, I used all, all the force I could and it won't budge. So I don't know. I think the only thing to do is to uh, get this front housing off uh, and maybe grab it with some vice wrench, vice grips, something. Um, or take the pulley adapter off, pop out the rubber bushings so they don't melt. Probably should be checked anyway. And then apply some heat. Uh, anyway, I've got the tractor in gear, put the brakes on, and uh, I was moving it back and forth, so I don't know. Probably when that key spun, it uh, it probably tightens, tighten that on really, really, really tight. So, oh, I also uh, shaved down the ends of this crowbar and stuck that in and got the wrench on that. Nothing. So if I want to get to that, I have to take this arm off, the bumper off. Might as well do that. Then I have to take body work off, disconnect the radiator, disconnect the power steering and the steering arms on both sides. What else? Uh, and then it should just be these, uh, these bolts here. Oh, uh, there's one up there, one there. Two on the front, and two here. We'll support this, of course, and then hopefully it should all just slide forward enough to get that shaft out. What a pain in the butt. Anyway, that's a job for another day. This video was about getting the loader off, so I'm going to finish taking this arm off and get the bumper off. Pretty much the same as the other side, so I'll just uh, leave it here for now. There's lots more tractor repair videos coming. I need to fix the power steering. It leaks like crazy up the top here. I don't know if you can see or hear that. There's a bunch of play in there, so the bearing's probably shot in there somewhere. Uh, I need to rehab the brakes. They don't work very well. This pedal. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, fix the rear diff lock. Doesn't seem to work. The hydraulic lift, uh, three point lift here. It's uh, very shuttery. So I should uh, check the, uh, the filter on that. And uh, might end up having to pull the top cover here and uh, replace the, the piston and cylinder. So what else? What else? Uh, the temp gauge 
always runs reads low uh, so either the gauge is not working properly or the thermostat is stuck open uh, I've got some new gauges for it plus lots of leaks to fix um, I've got a spin-on oil filter adapter kit and all the wiring is a complete mess and needs to be redone so lots of tractor videos to come if you're interested click like and subscribe and uh, there'll be plenty more thanks for watching a little bonus footage I've got the other side of the frame off that side was a lot heavier uh, because it's got all that stuff on it uh, taped over all of the ports make sure water doesn't get in got the front bumper off it's just four bolts underneath they're all uh, one and a quarter I believe <clears throat> one of them was stripped out so it was a bolt coming down the rest were all bolts going up supported it with the bottle jack and the farm jack and uh, just kind of lowered it down it wasn't too bad and uh, yeah <sighs> That sucker needs to come out. <laughs> Frustrating. Anyway, got all that stuff off. Tractor looks pretty good. I think tomorrow I'm going to put the hitch ripper on the back, loosen up some of the soil, do some grading, get it ready for more driveway gravel. Okay? It's uh, 420, so you know, know what that means. It's uh, time for a beer. Take it easy.